Run a red light at one of four intersections in Hannibal and you're bound to get a ticket in the mail. This is the big one. This is where all the bottlenecks occur and this is where people run the red lights. Until recently, red light cameras captured the most violators at the West Ely and Pleasant Street intersection at US 61. But in July, MoDOT crews began a two-month construction project that added new turn lanes and road surfaces at the intersection. That's when the decision came to remove the red light cameras. Adding the turn lanes and whatnot, they were in the sidewalks, they were in the way. With the project almost complete, the issue now is whether to reinstall the cameras. It's our hope that, that it can be put back. I understand there might be some right-of-way issues out there. That decision will be made between MoDOT, the city, and Redflex the company responsible for the red light cams. They also need to submit a plan for us so we can uh, check it for safety and make sure we have no concerns with the new locations. The four cameras at this intersection bring in close to $150,000 a year for the city, but city manager Jeff Lagar says they've reduced safety factors considerably. After the first 18 months, we had uh, reduction rates and violations of 32%. And I think it's up in the 60s now. Um, really? Yeah, it's really been a good thing. Lagar says Hannibal's four red light camera intersections have caused a halo effect around the city. We have some uh, signals out there that don't have the cameras, but people tend to abide by them because of the intersections that do have the cameras. So we're seeing overall better safety patterns. There's no timeline when we may see these cameras back up and flashing. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Hannibal.